So the former NBA player in his cancer freedom was in Rome recently when he learned from the FBI that he needed to come back to the U.S. immediately. He was told that the Turkish government had put a bounty on his head. Freedom grew up in Turkey before coming to the United States and changing his name in honor of this country. He's been critical of the Turkish government. And his cancer freedom joins us tonight. Thanks so much for coming on. So the Turkish government, you were informed by the U.S. government, has put a yep. bounty on your head, half a million dollar bounty. What does that mean, a bounty on your head? So, like, first of all, thank you for having me, Mr. Carlson. Um, I was doing a basketball camp in Vatican, actually, uh, for, you know, Christians, Catholic, Muslim, and Jewish kids. And I heard the news for the first time, and I, had a, I, I got in touch with FBI immediately, and they said, come back to America at this moment. So I took a flight the next day, and so, you know, this is the first time actually the Turkish government put on a bounty on my head and put me in a most wanted terrorist list. Just because of I talk about the, some of the human rights violations and political opinions that is happening in Turkey. And, you know, I'm not the only one. There are so many journalists, academics, professors and celebrities are on that list. And when I had a conversation with my friends on the ground, they said, the mafia, the serial killers actually, professional hitmen and cartel could be after my case. And I was like speechless. I was like, this is this cannot be happening to an American citizen in U.S. soil. Do you feel like the U.S. government is helping to protect you from this threat from a foreign government? Mm -hmm. Really good question. You know, some of the members of the Congress actually reacting to uh, this news and asking Biden administration to speak up and actually take some actions, you know, because I remember first time uh, President Biden, uh, before he took to office, actually, the first thing he said that the, the problem in Middle East is Erdogan and we need to do something about it. And it's been almost two years and he has not done a thing yet. So we have to prioritize human rights and because Turkey plays a very important role because it could have been the bridge of Islam and West. But just because of there is no freedom of speech, you know, there are so many political prisoners and innocent people are in the jail waiting for help. It is not uh, possible. So I'm asking, please, Biden administration to take some solid actions and and help my friends over there, help my family over there. I haven't seen yeah. them almost 10 years. Well, if they're okay with Chinese genocide, I doubt they're going to be too upset about Erdogan, but that's just a guess. Hope I'm wrong. Uh, Edith Skinnerford, great to see you tonight. Thank yeah. you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.